All right, what's going on, guys? So today we got chest and triceps. Um, it's a Tuesday, so uh, last chest video was really bad for me because I wasn't able to lift what I wanted to, but I'm hoping that today is gonna be different. So well, let's get it started. All right, let's warm up with this plate. <sighs> So I'm gonna waste no time today. I'm gonna go straight to the working sets. Yeah, just off of how that just went up, I just, I can tell that this chest day is gonna go just like the last one. Um, the other day I posted a video of me benching 315 in no spot. And there was a lot of guys commenting under the video. I posted it on two different uh, socials. I did it on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, there was guys saying that even though you don't have a spot, you should you should take the clips off of the, of the weight. And I kind of see where they're coming from, but at the same time, for me, I don't know what it is, but I, my balance is kind of off at the bench. So if I were to bench with no plate or with no clip, um, I just, I'm kind of lopsided when I bench. So like the weight would fall off while I'm benching it. So that's why I keep the clips on. It's something I need to work on, but. Man, chest days are so weird to me because I, I decline and it's like I'm improving and I'm also like not improving every time I'm in here. Like last video, or no, two videos ago, I benched 315, no spot. Obviously you guys seen it. If you didn't go watch it. Um, but now I'm kind of stressing to even bench this. Uh, you know, it's obviously I've done more weight by myself, but it's like just some days I just come in here and I just feel like I can't do some, some you know, just off those 225 reps, I just didn't feel too good, man. Okay. You know what? That didn't feel too bad. So I think I'll, I'll go up and I'll hit 315, but I'm gonna need a spot for this one. All right, I got one in me. Let's go. <laughs> just in case appreciate it all right so i usually don't ever do this like ever but i'm gonna do some uh some flat uh dumbbell bench with the with the dumbbells so um i usually would just go do incline right after what i just did but um it's taken so i'm gonna just do this uh and i feel like this probably might help me with my bench problems it could be because, you know, dumbbells, you're focused uh, with balance and all that. And I struggle with balance on the bench. So maybe this will uh, help me out. So I got some 80s. Um, I've confidently inclined these. So I feel like I could probably do the same with the flat. So. <laughs> I don't like those. I don't like those. But as you can see, my balance was a little bit off. I definitely need to work on that. Second set, let's get it. Mm. 
I'll go another. Yeah, I remember why I don't do this workout at all. I prefer bench. I prefer barbell bench. There's people that prefer this over bench. I don't like this. But um, that incline is, is, is uh, open. So after this, we'll go do the incline bench like we were supposed to do. Alrighty, here we are at incline. So we got 205 to start off. Uh, I'm gonna try to go heavy on here for this one. Two twenty-five. Huh. Okay. Uh, to be honest, I'll probably stay at this weight to finish off the last set. Um, some days you got it, some days you don't. Alright, we're gonna uh, do some inclined dumbbells. So basically, we're doing the exact same thing we just did, but we're using dumbbells this time, so. Now, one thing I could take away from this video is I need to work on my balance for sure. When it comes to benching, I need to work on my balance. Let's get the second set in. Man, bro, my energy is pretty low. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't eat right before I came in here, <laughs> so I had class. I woke up at like, uh, I woke up at like 9:30. I had class at 10:30. I didn't eat breakfast before. I didn't realize when I was making my schedule with my advisor this year. Um, I got class from 10:30 to 2:50 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you gotta keep in mind that I gotta go home and edit videos and and work out and all that. So it's like, I literally went straight from school to here, nothing in my body. You know, that's not optimal if you want a good, work, good workout, you know? So, uh, gotta do better. That's what I mean. Here we are at the pad jack flop machine. Um, yeah, I think I might end chest off right here because I've done what well, I've done bench, um, flat bench with the dumbbells, incline, incline bench with the dumbbells, and flies. You know what? That's honestly, that's good enough, bro. <laughs> Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. That was 165, and I honestly felt light, man. I just jumped from 165 to 195, so that's 30 pounds. I just jumped. Um, but honestly, that felt really light, bro. Let's finish this last set. So I'm here at the Smith's machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some uh, overhead tricep extensions with the Smith's machine. Um, people do this with the dumbbell. Pretty sure the dumbbell does the exact same thing. Um, I just like the Smith's machine because I feel like you could get away with a little bit more weight on here and it's obviously assisted. So um, let's get it in. <laughs> I like these because you know triceps are like this. They're in a super vulnerable state. They're they're stretched, you know. It's all around it's just pretty good, you know. I usually didn't used to do these, but I just recently implemented them in my workouts. They're effective, I will say. Yeah, let's get this last set in, then we're gonna move to the ropes. All right, uh, here we are at the circuit. So, um, if you've ever watched any of my bicep videos, I've explained how this works. Uh, I'm not gonna explain it today. I'm just gonna get it in. And bend over a little bit. So I just did 100 and went up it to 110. So, I just did 110, well, I did 100, 110, and then 120. Moves to the new attachment. I'm gonna go 130, 140, 150. You know the drill. You notice I'm not I'm not getting the four-inch motion on all of them. You know, it's cool because when I'm in this position right here, they're stretched. So even if I'm getting partial, they're still effective.
It's the last attachment that we're using. You know what I'm gonna do? Instead of going to 180 for the last one, I'm up to 120 and I'm gonna burn out. Okay, so instead of uh, finishing on the, the dip machine, somebody's on there. So I'm just gonna do the cables and just, yeah, just finish off right here. I'm gonna grab the ball, bend over a little bit, like that. Okay, I'm gonna lower that weight. My triceps are fried. Finish this off and uh, head to the locker room. Wraps up my day. Um, pretty good day, I would say, overall. Um, I need to figure out what's wrong with my bench, though. Like, some days I can come in here and I can bench, you know, however much I want, and some days I can't. So, I gotta figure what that's about, but uh, let me show you guys what I got. All right, here we are. Chest, triceps. Man, I'm actually so proud of my triceps. I want them to be bigger, but I'm definitely cool with the progress so far. You know, triceps make up the most of the arm. I don't know if you could tell, like the triceps is way bigger than the bicep. But, but that wraps it up for today's video. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so we have shoulders and traps. Yeah, so I'll catch you guys then.